Grand Rover, yep, the car. you rode a bike, right? And you're like, I don't know, I haven't ridden a bike in years and years. Well, when you go to an e-bike, you can. They are some of the most fun ways to get around. Whether it's your neighborhood, if you're hanging out, going to the groceries. For many of you, you could actually change this into your commute, or you could be the adventurer and you even want to go off-road. This awesome rover is going to take you there. A little background real quick. We launched this with Tony Little, who I'm going to call up in just a second, and it sold out completely in January. For the first time ever, we've now made it a Today Special. We've got three great colors. We have the blue I'm on. We've got the red and the slick black you'll see on Tony. And for the first time ever, we have two versions. This is the foldable and the other one is non-foldable. So it's your option. We got a one day price, a whole bunch of fun coming at you. And it's all brought to you by Land Rover. We know that incredible car company and America's personal fitness travel. The guy who really wants to get us out, get us moving. And we love him so much. Tony Little, come on down. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes! Oh. <laughs> Woo! You know, ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Most fun bikes in the world. No kidding. This is an awesome, awesome bike. It's it's actually brilliant from head to toe, top to bottom. Brought to you by Land Rover. I know, great name too. Yep, yep. Jeez. Rover bikes by Land Rover. So how did you find these? Tell us the story. How did I find these? Um, see over here, this l l nice Range Rover. Car, that pretty little car over so, there. Yeah, so I had two Range Rovers at one time, you know, and a Land Rover. <laughs> Fell in love with the, you know, how amazing the technology is and stuff. Happened to be on a phone call one day on the phone, met the owner uh, no on kidding. the phone, and he says, hey, how would you like to do a rover bike? And I'm like, I'd love to do a rover bike. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Nobody else has them but us. That's awesome. Yeah, this is completely exclusive, guys, and we've got a lot set up for you. All right, how do you afford this? Well, here's the scoop. We have two different options. You've got your regular flex pay, which you'll see on your screen, and we have 18-month VIP financing. This is the time that you pull that HSN card out and you use it because this is max years, max quality, and max fun. And as I just said, you get 18 months, and so we'll break that down for you either in the foldable, it is going to be 72.22, and in the non-foldable, it's 83.33 over the next 18 months. There's no interest paid if you pay it in full, which is really cool. All right, Tony, let's go over all the features because there's so much built into this awesome well, bike. Well, uh, why I love this bike from the very beginning is you have a step-in design. That means male, female, any age group, everything can just step into the bike, and that makes it much easier for people to ride. Whenever there's a bar over it, it's, it's good for like racing and stuff like that, but not good for people that want to travel everywhere. You know, go downtown to the grocery store, go out and see your friends. This is this is the best type for that. And of course, it has a rack on the back that you can go ahead and put anything that you're carrying with you to go visit somebody with. You've got the grip pedals, which are important. This is one of the biggest things that people will love about this. It's foldable, so right? Awesome. So that Range Rover over there, yeah. it has this in it, and it just folds up and goes in the back. Yeah, that's And then great. you take it down, and it takes one thing, and you're right back into it. Yeah. So the people love the foldability of it. And then, of course, this, the, the display screen, right? Major, right? So level one, that's a pedal assist, right? Then you go up here again, two pedal assist, three pedal assist, four pedal assist, five pedal assist. If you're doing five pedal assist, you're not going to get near me. Because <laughs> that's pretty fast. You're moving. But there's also gears. Yep. So the kind of cool thing is, is let's say you haven't ridden bikes in years, but you'd like to get healthier. If you just want to ride it as a standard bike, you actually have seven gears built in over here. Uh, you, you know what's interesting? I was going to pull that out on you. <laughs> I was going to pull that out on you because I've been riding this and nobody said anything about it and you caught it, right? I did, the, totally. The thing, well, because I'm a fitness guy. Right. So it's two bikes in one. Yeah. Oh, like the other idea. ones, a lot of the other ones do not have this. So you have a seven-speed bike, right? So if you go up like this, seven speed so you don't even if you happen to run out of electric charge you now have a smooth riding seven speed bike there you go see me go that's all I have to do. It's brilliant. So your seven-speed bike, you got a bike that uh, will go up to 20 miles an hour, 40 
miles distance on one charge. That's and awesome. And cool, cool, cool. And okay, so I got to give you an idea because we were trying to figure out how long is 40 miles. Like we kind of know what 40 miles is, but listen to the statistics, you'll love it. You can go from Manhattan to Long Island, New York in 40 miles. You can go from Philadelphia to Wilmington, Delaware, change states in 40 miles. You can go from Los Angeles, you guys in LA, to Huntington Beach if you want to. And you can go from Sarasota, Florida to here in St. Pete, all of that in 40 miles. And it only takes about up to five hours to recharge us. So, so many of you are switching to e-bikes for commuting for work oh, because you're saving money on gas. We all love e-bikes. It's easier. It's more fun, quite frankly. So when you get to work, you're literally just plugging it in and then it's charged and ready to go by the time you're ready to leave. Zero it. money. True. You're paying zero money. That's a great point. Once you you're get plugging it, it in yeah. somewhere on your house or somebody like plugging it in. You're not paying for gas. Right. Right. You're not hurting the environment. Great idea. Right. Yeah. And everybody can use it. I think what you have to realize is once one of these gets in your house, there's going to be two or three more gone. Right, because right. everybody wants it. Everybody wants it. That's why we sold out the last time. We'll sell out again. Yeah, and just FYI, here's the count, and I just want you to know it right off the top, because I know when you're thinking about, it, you're like, okay, that's cool, and I have to tell you, it's one of the most fun things I've ever been able to sell. There's freedom to it. You feel so good with the wind blowing in your face. You're not profusely sweating because you're pedaling your brains out, and it's so smooth and so beautiful. I've never, in fact, I'd love to own a Range Rover. I'd love to own a Land Rover. Those are exquisite cars. That same kind of quality in those really beautiful cars they make, I tell you right here, they put it inside here. You can literally physically feel it when you're on this bike, how good the quality is. One other feature, Tony, you want to show, because I'm so in the market for these. I love uh, e-bikes. Do you know Craig and I have been looking for e-bikes for years, trying to figure out which brand to buy? This is I it. want you to see the tires, guy. So if you're going to do this on regular street, great, hills, great, inclines, whatever. But Tony, you told me earlier, I'm worried about like things like gravel, rockier roads, a little off-roading, it can handle it, right? Yeah, because it's a fat tire. Yeah. Fat tire is all terrain, folks. So what you're getting with this is you can go up hills, you can go over the gravel, you can go a little bit in the water. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff, it's pretty amazing what you can do, but it's because the fat tires are meant to go anywhere. Which is We're, great. Yeah, and we, a lot of the e-bikes, by the way, guys, are only really for city. Mm -hmm. And so what happens, you get the really thin tire. This one really, look at that. You can really tell. Look how thick and big and fabulous that fat tire is. That gives you more versatility, right? there. That gives you more terrain, more areas, and more things did, you can do. Did we show them the fold? Yeah, we'll show the fold, Tony, and then everybody wants to know how exactly do you charge this baby up? How do you charge it up? Yeah. Plug it in? Yes, <laughs> we'll show you the part. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, really that simple, actually. Here, folks, this is why I love uh, the foldable, okay, for everyone out there, because a lot That's of people great. want to travel. Look at this, it's in the back of a rover with a rover, you know, a bike. So that's a very big deal. This photo is just like that, real simple. It's with a little bar there, you pull it up, put it in the back of your car. That's and that awesome. is a big deal because let me tell you something, when you have the tall bikes, like when we used to rent them, you couldn't get them in no car. Oh, true. Yeah, you know, so you this is- You have to get an actual thing in the back on the hitch yeah, and actually and put the bikes on top of it. On there. top of it, where this yeah. is so cool uh, that you and it fits perfectly. Also, too, uh, remember that the seat's completely adjustable, which is great, so you don't really have to worry about how tall or how short somebody is. That's fully adjustable on the seat, which is just awesome. And by the way, the seat's really comfortable. If you think about riding this thing for 40 miles, you want a comfortable seat, and it's actually very comfortable. Yeah, I, I gotta tell you, the fun factor is really high. Oh, no kidding. I, I, I mean, I'm 66 years old, <laughs> all right? All right? <laughs> I have to say it that way, 66, 66, I'm like a little kid with this thing. I love it so much. It is so amazing. And I have rode other bikes, yeah. but I don't like the way they fit. Right. They're too tall or this. This right here, the Rover by Land Rover, obviously it's the best quality because it's British made. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I want to come over here for a second. I'm going to show you because you're asking, how do you plug it in? It could not be simpler. There's actually a little port right here on this side. So it's over here on this side. It's a port. And then when you open this up, it, you just plug it in and it goes into any outlet. It's, you don't have to have a fancy outlet. You don't have to have an outlet built in your garage. It goes into any outlet. Another cool option is when you have the key on the side, this whole battery will pop out and you can literally take the battery with you and just plug that in directly. So you can pick the whole bike and plug it in or you can pop that battery out and you can charge the battery by itself. So that's another great option. While we're down here, I just want to show you, we have an accessory kit. Now this was designed by Rover and Land Rover um, and it is, uh, you get this in your accessory kit. And by the way, that's steel braided inside so it's super strong. You can be able to set your own um, lock uh, numbers if you want. You also get a cup holder in the accessory kit and you get a cell phone holder. Now here's what's even fun.
funnier. There is a USB plug in this system. So if you need to charge your phone or you want your phone on while you're riding, you can actually plug it into the Rover system. So isn't that awesome? So if you're going long distance, like 40 miles and your phone's starting to die, you plug it in the little USB and it's gonna actually charge it, which I think's even more brilliant. I mean, Land Rover has really thought of it all when they've made this great bike. Now, here's what I'd love you to do. Um, let's talk about this one. I knew it was one. coming to where you are gonna tell me what to do. I always do, don't I? <laughs> That's why I love you. That's why I love you. Come here, Tony. Tell us the difference, and let's put these side by side. Okay. So you three colors, blue, red, and we've got the There's black. There's only a couple hundred of these. Yeah, yeah we're going to go over that next. Yeah. But I want you to see the difference between the foldable and the regular bike, and how would you describe the difference? Uh, you know, this one is for really a lot of long distance where you're never having to adjust anything. You're just cruising and going okay. forward. Okay. This is more city, go anywhere, do anything, go out into the woods, everything like that. This, I really think, is a transport. I mean, it, okay. this right here, think so about it. So it's like a car replacement. Oh, oh, my gosh. No more gas. No more paying for gas. That. Yeah. All right? Not waiting in traffic. If you're in New York and you see all that four-lane, five-lane traffic, <laughs> <laughs> right around, baby. That's, That's awesome. why these things are everywhere. No, they're fun, yeah, but they're sure also is. going to work with them. They're going out to beaches with them. They're going everywhere with them. Yes. And that's why it grew so big. Right, and so fast, and everybody's thinking about getting that e-bike, and it's really fun, especially, you know what, if you haven't biked in years, and you're like, oh, am I gonna buy a regular bike, and am I gonna really use it? And no, when you get an e-bike, e-bike, instantly you get on, your smile goes from here to here. The wind's in your hair, you're having a ball on it. It just brings joy to your life. That's my best description. It is so fabulous is and so fun. And I do wanna show you the size of the tires again so you can see it, because I want you to make a smart decision. Mm -hmm. This is the first time we've offered the non-foldable so you can see the tire circumference is larger and the tire itself is a little bit thinner but not super thin like a little racing bike you still have a nice tread on here too so I just want you to see the difference in the circumference of the foldable versus the the full-size bike or not full-size but the one that doesn't fold so just so you can get an idea of when you're purchasing what to do all right now let me give you a crazy update the black in the non-foldable I have a little over a hundred the blue that you're seeing right here it's so pretty I have about 60 of these and in the red I only have 65 now the foldable Tony is what you sold out in January completely and this all the options we had was in January in the foldable I'm only less than what I have a couple hundred in blue, a couple hundred in red, and I have a little over 400 in the black we brought in more of the foldable because it's always the most popular option did I, pick, did I pick up your bike Look, I already oh, stole. Did. Oh, look. I already stole. <laughs> I didn't mean it, I swear. You I'm all of a sudden looking and I'm going, this looks right, different Tony, than my bike. We're going to head back out. You ready? <laughs> yeah. And we're going to listen to these folks and hear what they have to say about how awesome this bike is, because it is awesome. You will fall in love. The Rover foldable bike is easy to use. You can fold and unfold, snap it together, and you're on your way. I mean, there's a lot of e-bikes on the market, but this one is really simple to use and it's comfortable. And then the seven speeds, if you really wanna get up and boogie and uh, get, get where you need to be, you can do that as well. It's so easy to get on and off of it. The low step allows me to step on and off with no problems. I think it's a safe alternative to bicycling. The Rover foldable e-bike is a breeze. Donna, 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 Donna. Ah! Wow, even oh the brakes. My gosh. <laughs> look, at look at her behind me. I look like I have my I super cape on, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so a couple of things I really love. Now, you'll think I'm nerding out on this, but I actually know a ton about e bikes. I love the braking system on this, and that's something you have to be concerned about. There's a lot of expensive e bikes out there that only have one brake versus two. And a lot of them mistakenly only put the one brake on the front. No, there's a brake on the back, and there's a brake on the front, and they're exquisite brakes. Really awesome. good smoothing. Well, you know, again, let's take a look at the name. Yeah. Rover bikes yeah. by Land Rover. Yeah. That's a Range Rover, <laughs> okay? Um, this bike is top of the line. 
and that's why it's, we brought it in. And guys, I gotta tell you, I've had a lot of experiences with e-bikes, I was mentioning that, and this one, I've never ridden a better one. Mm. I have never, in fact, I'll tell you, the neat thing about getting an e-bike, I'll tell you my own kind of story. My husband and I, we're in Michigan, we love going to Michigan, he's from there, and we rented an e-bike, which by the way, for a half a day was like 100 bucks per person. Easy. So that was $200 for one half day, right? We went from Charlotte, or we went from Petoskey, Michigan, along Lake Michigan to Charlevoix, Michigan. And we had one of the best, most memorable days we've ever had because we were on an e-bike and it was fun to be outside and it was effortless fun. Absolutely, I, I gotta tell everyone out there, the experience of riding a bike like this is, you're just like, that's why people go like this. Ah! You know, it is super fun, but it's super healthy for you as well. Right. And you're saving a, a ton of money on gas. You're not waiting in line anywhere anymore. You get to go everywhere you want, right up to the stores, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it comes with a, it's coming with a bundle, right? Well, yeah, with the bundle, you get the lock, you get the phone holder, and you get the, um, the bottle holder. That's where... That's a great bundle, by the way. You know what I love about it? I think everyone... Listen, the one big thing, I, I didn't bring my bike over here, both folks, but mine has the phone holder. And I love it, all right? I, I mean, I, don't, I only think you have about 500 of them. I don't know, think you have very many. Yeah, you know what, Jared? Right. How many of the accessory yeah. kits do we have? Jared, do you know? I, you're right, I got less than 500. All right, I want to show you one more thing stuff. on the back of mine. We also have the bag. I want to show you this. We got a cool little storage bag that's designed to fit. And there's only a little over 200 of that. So if you're really going to go for it, um, you might want to think about this little storage bag. It holds a lot of stuff on it, and it's designed to fit on this back area. And you can take it off, and you can carry it. So if you want to put all your stuff, your sunglasses, sunscreen, whatever you got going, whatever extra stuff, you just stick it inside here. Remember, with the accessory kit, it's this is beautiful. This is made by Land Rover, and it is a gorgeous, really solid, sturdy uh, bike lock. And then here's the water bottle holder here, and then this is your cell phone holder, which holds really big phones. It actually stretches to accommodate your phone. Remember, there's a USB built in, so if you need to charge your phone while you're riding the bike, you can. You plug it in, it's gonna use the battery that obviously uh, powers yeah. the bike. I just can't get over the speed. Let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, 20 miles an hour is fast it's on a bike. really right? fast. And, and, but it's so <laughs> exhilarating. You know, one another thing I like on this thing is how quick. Like the throttle on this, folks, look, if I just do this. Up, right? Yeah. That's just level one, right? Yeah. But I, I'm not doing anything. If I just push that. Ah! There he goes, all you see is a pair of orange shoes. <laughs> Flying down the road. All right guys, let me give you an update. Hey Jared, uh, just kind of tell me of the colors and, and the types, mm -hmm. what are we doing here? Okay, that's it. Once again, like January, the folding is the most popular in the blue. You guys are, now I gotta tell you something. I did not dress to match this bike. I swear, I did not. I actually didn't know we had blue coming in tonight. I didn't know that was one of the options, but I wanted to wear something that felt outdoorsy. And I'm telling you, if you haven't ridden a bike in forever and you're like, oh, it'd be good for me. I need to get out. I haven't been zooming around and having fun. I really hope you'll try it. And I think with our five flex pay, that's any major credit card you're good to go and I really love the VIP financing on this if you have our HSN card get it out right now do you know that's 18 months interest free if you pay it in full by the end of the 18 months which breaks it down between 70 and 80 some dollars between the two mm. options yeah, and think about how, yeah, think about when I rented mine, it was a half a day and it was 100 bucks per person. So 200 bucks, that was it. So what is that? Uh, you know, maybe two weeks of renting and you got it for years it's, and years and years to come. It's the most affordable, high quality yeah. uh, bike you're ever going to find in the electric category. And also, let's not forget, it's a Rover bike by Land Rover. Just so everyone knows, there's a lot of stuff coming out of different countries, all right, that are cheaply made. Yep. You pick something up from Rover, you know, from Land Rover, you're getting the top. That's why they even allowed us to have this car here today, right? To be able to show you a Range Rover, all right? Because that's also quality. This is quality, this is, this will sell out. There's just no question because it's super fun and I love the readout on it. I mean, I love the Beautiful. fact, I never realized, right? I never realized when they first uh, got me into this, right? How simple it was with the pedal assist. Yeah, right? right? Isn't I, that I never, funny? I mean, I think about it. It's, it's unbelievable. So you go level one or whatever, you know, you go two, three, four. Let me tell you, I haven't gotten past three. All right? I can't imagine five yeah, with no. one being as good as I was in it. my big garage doing it, and I was like, no! <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> I can't do that, right? Uh, but you go out there and do that, and then it gives your odometer reading, all your other stuff, Wait, headlights. Tony, show them this, because you can actually get different readings here, yeah, yeah, and you your know trip. where your battery is, so do your trip. You can do your trip over here. Where am I at now? That's my light. There it is, trip odometer, how many miles you put on it, yeah. the maximum speed you bet, average speed you've done. Isn't that cool? It is cool, and this is a and nice then, four-inch wait, LED. Look, guys, it's huge. You can read it with our glasses. Yeah. And right here, that's showing you're you charged. how much power you have. So you can actually tell when it's starting to lose power, and you'll know how many miles you're going. Yeah, and I, I love all that. And, but, you know, the other day when I was with uh, Michelle, and we were both riding these. That's his wife. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I love her. She's awesome. I mean, she's the most unbelievable person in the world. Um, <laughs> Very simply on this, I just think that it's important to note that this is two bikes. I don't know if a lot of people understand that uh, because I really didn't understand it until I got this bike from Rover. Mm -hmm. This is two bikes, all right? So say you, you did run out of electricity, which is you know 20 miles, right? most people don't. Take a look at this right here. This is a seven speed bike, all right? And it is the smoothest seven speed bike I've ever been on. So I push this button, all right? Where am I going with this now? There it is. got to take it back like this. Then you put one, two, and it's like that. So you're going through the gears. You're going through the gears, right? right? So uh, if I don't want to go electric at all, I'm just pedaling this like a regular bike, except for this is a very easy bike to pedal, Right. you know? And that's very cool, too. So if you ever would go, you have two, two ways of running this. You can work out your body, or you can just go real fast and go get some money. Or you can do the combo <laughs> of the two if you want yeah. to parse pedal and let it do part of the job. Yeah, that's right. This Pedals is what we did when we were biking on the big, we did 36 miles in a day. I can't, I, I haven't ridden a bike long enough to be able to do 36 miles in a single day. But with this, no, it, right. and having an e-bike, it was effortless. And I'm telling you, that one was a rental. It was clunky. I thought it was super cool. Until until I set my butt on this one. This is a total game changer. And I'm glad you're super excited about this because I love it that Tony, he's got the perfect bite. So if you do want to get more fit, it'll ease you into that. So maybe you start doing full electric and then pretty soon you said, you know, I'm going to pedal half part time. And then think of all the benefits of just getting out and actually biking. I got intrigued when I went again, like I went to New York and saw all of these electric bikes going around the congestion coming from the airport. We're all stuck there for hours and hours and hours. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom, That's right? So they, the New Yorkers have really got it down. They got it figured out, yeah. They got it figured yeah. out. You know, with that traffic, everyone's on an electric bike. We're so happy to have the number one, which I believe is the number Beautiful. one electric bike in the country, and it's put, uh, called the Rover Bike yep. by Land Rover. And that's a big deal. And I think that speaks volumes right there. It does. I mean, you know how nice Land Rovers are, Range Rovers. They're some of the most beautiful cars you could ever buy. And so they would never, ever, ever put out an e-bike that doesn't match their reputation and the quality of their cars. There's just no way they would ever do it. So get excited. You should be excited about this. This is one of those purchases that use R5 Flex. Oh, by the way, the shipping's free. Do you know the shipping on this will normally be $49 to $59? And we We've even thrown in the shipping today. And by the way, it's only while it lasts. If you want the foldable, that right now is the best seller. And the most, what's the least, um, what's the most limited in the foldable? The, the blue. So, is yeah. that it? Well, look, <gasps> oh, it's, shoot, It's for guys. people that love to wear jeans. <laughs> and this right here. And this thing, and this is from us as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, the blue, I have less than 200 now. And I think it's glorious. It's I think beautiful. I think all three colors are great. I would probably get the blue for me, and then I get the black for Craig, my husband. And honestly, I am this close. In fact, I think when I'm done, we're looking. We have been searching for e-bikes for so long. And you made a great point. This is how, how much I know about these darn bikes. There's a whole bunch of stuff coming over from overseas that's oh, absolute junk. poop. It's absolutely well, we close poop. to what we said, I was right? Gonna say I something said junk, else. she said poop. Poop. I was going to say something else, but it's <laughs> they're terrible. They're terrible. And they're like, you know, literally like 150 bucks. You get what you pay for, guys. Trust me. They're well, they're poop. So do not, even if you get in the $500 range, it's still not going to be a great bike. Oop. Go ahead and treat yourself. I know it's not Oop. $19, Oop. but this is years Oop. of having fun, Oop. having the freedom, having a blast. You just feel so alive and it's it just mm. makes you smile. You get out and see your world in a whole different light when you're out of that stuffy car. You're not spending a ton of money on gas. So I hope you go for it. I think you can tell 
and I'm so transparent. I am beyond excited and I am. I am a nerd researcher when it comes to e-bikes because my husband and I have been looking forever. It is absolutely worth paying a little extra. With our five flex, because nobody's gonna give you that, 18 months VIP. And by the way, both of these are 100% exclusive. You can't even find them on uh, Land Rover's website. We're the only ones that have these two models. Please listen to more people what they have to say about hanging out on our great e-bike. I really love my Rover e-bike because first of all, it looks great. It's really easy to use. I have all my controls right here. I have a really cool LCD panel that tracks my mileage and my speed. It's an easy to use bike. When you go up the hill and you can switch to the pedal assist, you, you're almost flying. You're still pedaling, but it's so much easier. You know, no substitute for quality for sure. And, and Land Rover has it. And they've done the same thing with this e-bike here. Again, the Land Rover is great for on the road and off the road as well. And the e-bike has uh, those similar characteristics. Really a great bike and a lot of fun to ride. I do love my Rover e-bike. I've been telling all my friends about it. Everyone wants to ride it, of course. I use it to, you know, go to any functions around our neighborhood. Everyone uses golf carts. I take my Rover e-bike. This thing's awesome. Okay, so I'm getting on the Trek bike. And by the way, the, I have right now less than 200. Oh, I do want to show you this. Really, really easy to change the seat height. There's, and I can do it, guys. You don't need a bunch of tools. You don't have to be really mechanically inclined. You pop this open, changes the height for you, and then you're just going to clamp it back down. So you go like this. It's on this side, actually. And then you press it, and that holds it in place. And it didn't, I don't have to have a wrench. Have you remember the old bikes in the seats? You have to get a wrench and the nut and bolt, and you got to try to kept slipping around. No, this is now really, really easy. Now, this one does not collapse, okay? So this is not the foldable. And once again, it goes through its process. I love the screen because you don't need glasses to read it. You don't need your readers. How awesome is this? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put it on one. If it's on zero, that's me pedaling, guys. So if I go like this and I put it back to zero, it'll go through one, and it goes up to five, and then it goes down to zero. That means at zero, I'm full pedaling it. It's me doing all the work. Then just at one, this baby just takes off. So I wanted to jump on this because I personally have not experienced this one yet. And we'll see how it goes. You ready? I'm going to go around. Yeah, watch out, everybody. Here we go. Here we get on my way. I just want to see what it feels like, guys, compared to the foldable. All right, let me get over here. Oh! This is, it's made Now, here's what's crazy. Once you even do one little pedal like I just did, this baby takes off. Like, you, you, can, you can actually control it with your thumb to make it go faster. I know I got to turn around, don't I? Uh, let me turn around. I'll explain it coming back. Hang on. Can you hear? So here's what happens, guys. It makes it go faster, okay? When you pedal, it Where? actually helps propel it without using your thumb. What are you gonna do? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> Woohoo! I didn't have my light on, did I? By the way, there's a really cool feature. When you actually turn the light on, it dims your screen for night riding. I think that's really fun. And then voila. All right, so here they are. I'm going to put them side by side so you can see them. This is going to be, it's called the Trekker. Now, look at the difference, guys. This one folds up. This is for fun for everything, this one. I love Tony's description. The Trekker is, let's say you are going to do some distance. You're literally commuting to work every day. The Trekker might might be the one that's for you. It's really absolutely your options. You can see the wheel uh, circumference is much, much taller and bigger on this versus this. But notice too, this wheel is a little bit thinner. It's not skinny like a racing bike. I would not want that. That's too wobbly for me. This one's designed to go basically even off-road. I mean, it, you can tell that fat boy tire is really designed to take the terrain, right? So there's the difference there. And then side by side, you can actually see the difference in terms of the circumference of the tires and stuff. So I I just think you got it. You know what? It's probably, Tony, more like what's your lifestyle use for this? You know what I mean? If you're really going to go and be adventurous mm -hmm. and have some fun and you want, I think, the most versatility, the folding is definitely it. Yeah, I, I, I tell you, everyone out there, I mean, I, it's a fairly new experience for me to be with the e-bike, all right? Uh, fell in love with it for the first time I tried it, you know? Got lucky, uh, you know, contacted Rover at Land Rover. They had a bike out. That's so they cool. sent me one. We talked. We, we I wanted, to, I wanted to represent the category in the highest level. Yes. And, yes. Land, and Land Rover is the highest level. Right. You know what? Yeah. That's such a great point. I, I love that, too, because Tony's only going to bring you great, great products. He's not going to mess around. He sees a lot of junk. Mm -hmm. 
Trust yes, me, the I man do. see. People <laughs> bring him stuff all the time. And he wouldn't put his own incredible, literally world-renowned reputation on something that was junk. This he is, just wouldn't do it. I'm gonna bet this is five stars all the way around. Oh, I totally agree. You know what agree. I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna bet it for everyone out there, and I will tell everyone out there, it's just amazing. Again, it's two bikes in one if they really wanna understand it, and the thing is when you come over here again, just remember, you got seven levels of doing, like a 10-speed. We grew up dry, uh, riding 10-speeds, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, and going long distance. Well, you still have that, right? It's not like you're going electric only. Right. You can go 10-speed bike and, and go any speed you want, buy it without the electric, or you can just come over here, right? and go, here's your pedal assist, right? It, that's a pedal assist. Do it again. Take it down to one pedal assist. Take it back up. Look at all the pedals. I think you go to level five, right? Level five, you are cruising. <laughs> you are cruising. You are on the gone, highway by then, okay? I have not gone past level one. I stay level two out here. I, I know, like <laughs> I'm, I haven't even tried past level one because the pickup is so fast. And here's another great thing. The pickup is just like their cars. You ever been in a really good luxury car and you just barely hit that pedal and it just goes like that? <laughs> this is exactly what they built into this baby. You just barely touch that yeah. and it, yeah. It's it's really that's like five. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So good luck. If you're going to five, I want to talk to you because that's yeah. speedy. That's yeah. moving right along. That, that's the cool thing about it, though, folks. When you buy this, it's going to fit everybody in your family uh, uh, because of yeah. the levels, yeah. right? right? If your your husband is out there cruising, working, been a biker all his life, he's going to go to the five and four. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, other people that are just going to go to the city and cruise, get around the, the traffic jams, or just their neighborhood, their neighborhood, you know? yeah. two and three. Yeah, you know, but yeah. it gives you that ability, and then it gives you the complete. Uh, LED screen to read out all the benefits from it, right? Yeah. The distance you're gone, the trip you took, the odometer read, I mean, everything. Uh, By so, the way, bell. Did you notice what, yeah, the bell. <laughs> all right, I it's felt a, a little bell. weird doing that bell. All right, here we go, guys. Here's what we're gonna do. Let me give you another quick update. If you want the blue foldable, okay, so now I'm on the Trekker. This is non-foldable. I'm down to 180 for the entire rest of the day. That is it for the entire day. So if you're going for that blue, that's gonna be super limited. Yeah, oh wow, that's a third of our quantity for the entire day already gone. Now, why is that even important? Because this midnight show repeats itself about eight million times all night long. Yes, it's me and Tony all night. Um, so so the whole thing, the reason being is by the time we get the morning, we go live again, which I think is around eight o'clock in the morning, I think. Um, this could be wildly limited by then. Ooh. So if you are watching on replay, there you go. And here's why we love the foldable, oh, look, right? Yeah, love. look at it. You can just fold it up. <laughs> there it is right in the back of that vehicle right there, which happens to be a rover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a rover on a rover on a rover. Well, All know, right. That shows you quality. Yeah. That's yeah, the big yeah. deal. That's another reason. If you're going to buy an e-bike out there, you're going to buy a bike that has a reputation. Buy it from somebody who had a name Land Rover on it. All yeah. right. And had a great reputation years before they decided to get an e-bike. They've e -bike. been in business 70 some years. Oh, no kidding. I didn't 70 know that. some years. Wow, that's cool. British Engineering. I was so happy to meet them and be involved with it and that's cool. come to you guys. Okay, guys, if you're getting the foldable, we're $350 off what normally the price will be. If you're getting the Trekker, which I'm on, which does not fold, um, that is $400 off, and that is for a very, very limited time. Yeah. So just remember, you don't we don't have a lot of quantity. In fact, I was kind of surprised. And we just don't have a whole lot of time for our today's special. So what I would do is definitely make that decision tonight before you go sleepies, because you just never know what will be left by in the morning. Hey, by the way, if you want to protect your purchases, this is actually included in our Protection Plus, which kind of surprised me actually but it is electronic so there you go whether you damage it hurt it whatever we got you covered there's no surprises and if it spills accidental drops I can imagine on a bike there might be a few accidental drops in your life so you might want to invest in that all right coming back we're going to share more with you so stay with us as we continue with our rover by Land Rover what's all the plus about it's your favorite QVC and HSN channels and shows plus all about love, baby. What do you do when you are really, really bad? Everybody's streaming. I love you. Joanna Garcia Swisher, 43. Sadina Manzel here. You want to come for a tour of my closet? This is the party. Woo! Welcome to Design School. Stream free any place you want. People would say, I wish I could dress like you. You can. Just do it. It just feels like this was meant to be. 
Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like VIP financing on so many items, plus extra flex on every item under $369, all day, every day, and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $40 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsn card. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. The HSN deal is a great value that we bring to you every day. Thanks to our long and valued partnerships with the brands you love most, we are able to offer amazing products at great values. Shop the HSN deal with confidence from us to you. You gotta come, you gotta catch up with me, Tony. Woohoo! Hey, if you're just tuning in, I'm Suzanne Runyon and the incredible Tony Little. Bring don't, it up the rear. Here don't it comes. do this at home. I'm a professional <laughs> sporter bike sporter bar, <laughs> like bikey sporter guy. Bike guy. Ah. <laughs> So, so much fun. The fun factor is just gigantic. Huge, huge. Gigantic. It's so funny. You know, you can't help but laugh and smile when you're on this darn bike. You literally can't help it. We had it at home, you know, and we were out on the beach. And so many people now own electric bikes. Yeah, yeah. But everybody stopped me on this. The minute they saw that name, right? Where'd you get a Rover? Yeah, right. I'm like going, connected? <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's an interesting story. So uh, Tony hooked up with them. They worked out how to do this and bring it on to HSN. And you launched it actually in January. Mm -hmm. And uh, we only had the foldable, which is what we're both on right now. And it completely sold out. And it sold out in just a couple of airings. So here's the magic of the foldable. You're seeing it right now. It literally folds up. And what's really cool, it's only two places that fold. The handlebar folds down and it's very, very easy. There's just one little hook here. And then the center section folds into itself. And so it can fit in a much more compact space. So these are the foldables. Now, Donna is actually on what's called the Trekker. It's non-foldable. The wheel dimensions are bigger. So you have a, a bigger uh, circumference on the mm -hmm. wheel. And the wheel itself, the tire, is a little bit thinner, but it's not like a racing bike thin at all. It, it's got a nice tread on it, it's too. It's got a nice tread on it. Yeah. It's meant for long, long, long distances. Like because commuting. Bigger, yeah, commuting it that'll you know, better speed, higher tire, in case there's something you have to go through. Oh yeah, uh, right, right. Type right. thing. We, don't, we didn't have a lot of them, so everyone that wants one is probably grabbing one right now. Yeah, don't wait um, on the track. I, I just found this to be so my cute. favorite because it, the fun factor was gigantic on this to me. Okay. And it was a fun factor to my wife. She just loved it. I mean, we had to have them right away. Well, and I like the fat tire on it because the fat tire is gonna you give go you anywhere. more terrain. Yeah, you can go this, anywhere. So when you see our tire on this, it's considered a fat tire on the foldable, right? That means you can go on rougher terrain, it's going to go over bumps and things like that a whole lot easier than a thinner tire. So we'll turn it that way so you can see it. All right, Tony, do me a favor. Let's kind of start from the top and, and work our way all the way through it, sure, buddy, what it is all about. So they can see this over here. You're sure. getting a four-inch LED screen, right? So you can do, that's showing you right now that PAS is pedal assist. So this is on uh, level two pedal assist, right? So if I go like that, it's now level three pedal assist, level four pedal assist. If you're doing level five, you're an expert, okay? Uh, going back down, take it off when you want. But it basically over here too, you have trip, then you have odometer, then you have maximum speed, then you have over here average speed. So it gives you a record of what you've done. Over here, in love with this because this is something I gotta tell you, I didn't know, seriously. And I usually know these things, right? I'm, I'm playing with this and I'm going, oh my gosh, there's a seven speed bike, like a 10 speed bike on the other side. Yeah. And it is the most smooth riding bike without the electric that I've ever seen. Oh, and that's my, a great bike. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It is so smooth. And show them how you switch to the gears. Okay, so this is it's very simple when you switch your gears, just like that. You know, <laughs> you go, you know, all the way up to level seven, uh, just like you would on a 10-speed bike, but it's a level seven. Right. Uh, right. So well, it, and so that's what's so cool because it's really bringing the best two bikes in for one. All of us, right? Two bikes in because, one. Because Tony, you're he's such an advocate of all of us getting out and getting healthy and finding fitness that works in your lifestyle. So what I think is great about this, you might, oh, I loved, I used to love 
loved to bike when I was younger. Oh, we used to bike everywhere. I bike as we were kids, and then we never do it for the rest of our adult life. I think, Tony, why, why you bring this and why it's so cool is we can get back to biking, and if you do want to increase your fitness level, this takes you there. It's yeah. so cool. Uh, not a lot of them have the other speeds. They don't on. have that. No. Yeah, right. So th I thought it was great. Two bikes in one. Got everything I want. But yep. I also like the photo bowl because I can just throw it in the back of my... Yes, I have a Range Rover. <laughs> uh, can throw it in the back of mine, right. you know, yeah. and head out. Right. And it's so simple and it's so light. Do we have a folded one? Yeah, it's yeah. So you want to go see it? Yeah, because Let there's nothing over. you have to do, folks. I mean, it folds right up for you. Yeah, this is. I think it's so cool, and it's actually only two hooks. Yeah, like the two hooks, and it just folds like that. Isn't that so fun? yeah, I mean, so you can take. You want to go up to the mountains? You obviously have to carry your bike. You're either uh, putting it on the outside of your car, like a lot of people do, or you just put it right in there. And look how small the space is. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's like is. having a spare tire, but it's a spare bike. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Right? Yeah. It's very cool. Some so. other great features on this too that I love. I definitely love both the back brake and the front brake. You get back and rear, and that's really important. And they're disc brakes. So disc brakes a really big deal because you get a really smooth stop. You don't feel like you're going jerk and you're jerking and you feel out of balance. And what I like is most of the time I love to start with the back brake and I add the front brake when I'm braking on this. That's an important differentiation. Make sure you have disc brakes and you have both in front and back brakes. And you just brake by using the handles. It's can, really, really easy. Can I tell you something I'm jealous about? That I know about disc brakes? <laughs> Because I do. I'm such a nerd. Yeah, I'm sure you know more than I do. <laughs> what I'm jealous about is you got the upgrades. Yes. You guys want to see these? Who okay. does, I know there's not very many of these uh, with the thing, but the phone holder, I was looking for it, all right? Because <laughs> I want my phone on my bike, right? right. I want to talk to my it. wife, and she's talking to me while I'm on it, and then I get in a, maybe a wreck, but I don't know. No. <laughs> uh, fun thing. But anyway, that's what's so cool. So there's this, and then you get the, um, this is the bottle holder. Bottle, bottle, bottle that's holder. the second part. And then down below, underneath my great cape, this is... Where you, where um, you carry your makeup? Yeah, my makeup. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I got to have my hairbrush. I got to do something after wearing a helmet. All right, so down here, this is going to be the lock. And this is a Land Rover lock, too. And it's um, you can set your own code to it. And it's like a braided um, steel lock inside there. So it's incredibly durable. Now, we also have a really cool bag. Now, if you haven't seen it, uh, you know what, Tony? Let's show it on yours. There's a really beautiful area, and there's straps right here to put stuff under. But if you want the bag, there's less than how many do we have? Two, that's it? We only have 250 left, and it holds a ton of stuff. Well, it's very smart. But Tony, thing. with the bike itself, show them what it looks like. Right here, in here. This is your, your cargo area. Yes. Your cargo area. So you can put stuff on here. Even the but strap the bag looks is, great. But the bag that you have, no wonder it sold out so quick, because everybody's going to want the bag that goes to this bike. Yeah, this one, it's a super, super nice bag. Really I mean, cool. it's cool. Well, you just pop again, it off, and it's got the handles on it, and you go yeah. right into work. Right, right. right? Or you take it, and if you're going to put your wallet and go to the grocery store. Yeah. Uh, and cool. here's the thing. Uh, do, can we put that stat back up there? Because that was one of the most interesting stats I've seen in a very long time. Do you know they did a study? And the bike trips, in fact, i got to go look at it a little closer because it's too far away you from me to You can do see. it. Half of all bike trips are three miles or less. Oh, oh, half of all trips? Oh, really? Like car trips? Okay, half of all trips are three miles or less. This thing gives you 40 miles on a charge. It takes five hours to recharge it fully. And so think about that. Think of where you can go in 40 miles, right? Or even in 20 miles. But we did a funny statistic. I love this. All right, here we go. Manhattan, you can go from Manhattan to Long Island, New York in 40 miles. I mean, think about it, Manhattan to Long Island, right? You can go from Philadelphia to Wilmington, Delaware. You can cross the state line in 40 miles. You can go from Los Angeles to Huntington Beach, California in 40 miles. And from Sarasota, Florida, here to St. Petersburg in 40 miles. And you need about five hours to recharge it. So if this is gonna be your serious commuter bike, great. And if it's a commuter bike, I agree with you, Tony, I'd probably get the Trekker guys, because that yeah. one really is designed yeah, for go long distance, into the big smooth cities riding, and into stuff big like cities, things, things like that. If you wanna do the everything bike, which can do that, this is a but also do the rougher terrains, really a fun bike, take camping, take in your RV, you know, take it around town, wherever it might be, then and go for the foldable because this one by far is the most versatile. I think that, two. in my personal opinion, is I think the fun factor is higher on this. I do too. The fun factor is beyond, and everyone that hops it's on this sporty. is going to ask you where you got it, but they're not going to be able to get one because we're selling out. Uh, <laughs> right. But again, I just when you look at this and you see how it takes off, just watch for a second. I'm just, and I'll do it. Just, okay, so take off. Just so you, look, 
<laughs> it's so... Just listen to it. I'm after you! <laughs> yes, and you can harass people when you're on it as well. Why not? Okay, so let's listen to a few more people who have the bike, they love the bike already, so you can get a feel for what this experience is going to be like. The Rover foldable bike is easy to use. You can fold and unfold, snap it together, and you're on your way. I mean, there's a lot of e-bikes on the market, but this one is really simple to use and it's comfortable. And then the seven speeds, if you really wanna get up and boogie and uh, get, get where you need to be, you can do that as well. It's so easy to get on and off of it. The low step allows me to step on and off with no problems. I think it's a safe alternative to bicycling. The Rover foldable e-bike is a breeze. What? Hey, let's talk about saving money. So well, that's a very important thing because you're saving a heck of a lot of money with this. You aren't paying for gas. You're also doing something great for our environment. Yeah. It's a green movement, right? That's true. This is it. Yeah. Makes no noise, makes no uh, pollution, yeah. makes nothing, and is superior ride. Yes. I mean, tell me, is it not the most fun of anything you've ever ridden on like this? It is the best. Uh, and it, I have tried a gazillion, my husband and I have been, for years, Tony, we have been searching for e-bikes. And it's because I love to be outdoors, but both of us, we're not young chickens anymore, right? But I miss riding bikes. And I love this because it'll progress with us. It helps me to, it's, I can ride bikes even with my screwed up knee. You know what I mean? And so I what's nice about now. this. I do too. <laughs> I actually do. We both have knee braces on. <laughs> Welcome to 66 for me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to 40. <laughs> I want to go there. I want to go back. Yeah, I wish. Anyway, <laughs> so what's really funny though is if you haven't been out and you say, oh, I've been, you know, all oh, my, you know, my kids love to ride bikes. My grandkids want to go bike riding. My younger kids are, you know, 20 somethings want to bike ride. And you feel left out. Now you won't. And what I love is it grows with you because you can go to complete biking with seven gears built in. So if you say, hey, I'd love to bike again, but I don't, I don't know how to get started. This is absolutely the way to do it. And to your point, Tony, my gosh, it's a Land Rover product. If you've ever even seen one of their cars, let alone get to drive oh. one, you know how great the quality is, and they're going to do the very best. They're not going to mess around when they build no, a great no. bike. Oh, they're, Hi. They're, they're, oh, thanks. <laughs> they're an all-train expert, by the way, so everyone knows that, right? <laughs> Bye. She left, too. I get to leave. <laughs> it totally leave too. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, yeah. hey, you better get back in there and run that set. Oh, God, <laughs> well, you know what's fun too is, did you notice how bright the light is on the front? Like, look at that. And it really does Ooh. show you where you're going. And it even lights up not only the ground, but it lights up the way ahead of you. So don't discount how awesome this light is. And it's adjustable too. So let me talk weight capacity. It actually holds up to 275 pounds and it's a 75 pound bike. So just so you'll know that the balance is great on this. You feel super sta stable and uh, man, you're just going to love the speed and the experience. I guarantee you guys, you'll be in the five star area. Yeah. Oh, they I do will. too. You oh. will be because this is yes. an amazing, amazing ride, uh, precision, everything around it. I do want to show the four inch LED LCD screen again. Yeah, please. Yeah. Because I, th I think Brilliant. they did a great job on that, right? So pedal assist is right, what helps us with electric pedaling, right? Mm -hmm. So it's on a pedal assist one right there. If I take it back there, pedal assist two, pedal assist three. Believe me, folks, if you're at a pedal assist four or five, you are cruising. I mean, it's big. So you can do all that and change it out. So that's a very big thing. Then, of course, over here, you get the uh, other thing right here, which is your trip, how long you've been on trip, your odometer goes into your maximum speed and your average speed. So a lot of technology in this dude. Uh, and again, I love this part. I had electric bikes I was renting, and I don't remember ever having this, where I have a seven-speed bike. So if I decide that I'm not gonna use the electric, I can go on this seven-speed bike and get my body in shape. And I love it. I love the ability to do either or on something so amazing. Okay, guys, and with that same color display, there's a USB port on here, so you've got, remember, if you get the accessories, you can get the phone holder. I want the, the phone accessories. Are you, are you, you're so jealous about yeah, that I one, I am aren't jealous you? about phone that. Phone holder, which adjusts to big phones and small ones. Um, there's your cup holder, and you get, of course, the bike lock that is below here. What's cool is if you need to plug your phone in while you're traveling, you can, which is just so much, it's so well I can out. see myself, right, if I had one of those right now, uh, I'd be sitting there talking to the wife, 
over in the woods. And you're biking, yeah, biking yeah. along. No, I wouldn't even be biking. I'd just be saying, what's happening? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> sitting right? on your bike. Yeah, sitting on my bike and oh. talking for a while. Like, I'm, That's pretty cool. I mean, here's something funny. We've been sitting on this bike for coming up on an hour, well, 50 minutes right now, and the seat's really, really, really comfortable. That's the other thing yeah. everybody always asks is, how's see the seat? Yeah, you want to show it? Yeah. yeah. Again, yeah, it's a nice seat. You can obviously see the cushion in it. I don't know what they put in that, but it's the biggest, best cushion I've ever felt because it bounces back. The others just sink. So again, Rover's the key word here, folks. If you're looking to buy an electric bike and you're looking to buy an electric bike that you can also have a seven speed bike on at the same time, and you're looking at something that's high quality, this is the buy and you're it. saving hundreds of dollars. Yeah, well, 350 on the foldable 400 here on HSN exclusively. There's the USB port. Isn't that cool? I love this feature because how many times you see your phone's dying and you want to, you know, get more juice to your phone? It's right under there. You got to bend down just a little bit to see it. Right there's the USB port and it comes with its own little cover. So if it starts to rain or something, you definitely get to protect that port with that little rubber cover. Uh, cool, right? Like literally Land Rover has thought of it all. They're like, if we're going to make a bike, we're going to make it really, really good. All right. So Jared, my dear producer, is giving me me some updates. So let's start with the foldable collection, which is what I'm on right now. This is the foldable in the blue that I am riding. Oh, goodness gracious. There's 150 left, guys, for the whole day in the blue foldable. That's it. All right. In the red foldable, I have less than 200 now, about 195. In the black foldable, that's what he's on, we have a little over 300. Um, we brought in more of the black than the other two yeah, colors. So if you want the blue for sure. So we have 400 here. I got 160 here. So obviously this one's gonna go. Now in the Trek bike, I want you to see the Trekker bike. Um, it is definitely a uh, bigger circumference on the wheels. Um, it does not fold. In the red, is that it? Jeez, oh Pete, there's only 70 left in the red. You're seeing right there. Oh, did it? In the blue, we have, <laughs> we have 60 for the entire country, for the entire day, there's 60 in the blue. And in the black, there's 90 left. So here's the difference. This, this one folds down. I think the foldable is the most versatile, okay? But if you want something, and Tony described it, I think, perfectly, if someone is going to be riding this long distances, like on a commute, or, you know, you're using it in town uh, for some long distance riding. To me, this is, the, the foldable is just really fun, really portable. It's got the big fat tires. Now, the tires on here have a great tread, and they're a little bit wider. They're not the thin bike tires. So you're going to get a really nice feel with this but once again I'm going to turn it on that giant screen's going to come on for me I'm going to do I'm doing pedal assist to a one um, super easy so I'm on one you're controlling it all right here you still have the USB right there here's your little bell which I think is adorable and there you go okay you got it now when I take off and again I'm going to start with this but if I wanted to pedal once you start moving the pedals the whole thing starts taking off for you, or you can use a little thumb control, and then that's gonna take off for you Where as you well. Where are you going? I'm gonna pedal for a minute. I'm gonna follow you. It makes pedaling really, really easy. I'm and gonna then... put it on pedal assist three, you. You're doing it on three? Why not? Okay, you're gonna whiz right ah! past me. <laughs> All right, yeah, he's going to the alligators back there, because we know there are some around here. I'm looking for him, trust me, I hate being out here at night. All right, so here we go. So if, right now, I'm on the trekker, and just so you'll see, the, the wheel circumference is uh, much bigger than on the foldable. I still think they're both great and comfortable. It's really kind of what is your option or more of your choice. And I agree with Tony. I think if you really are going to use this for like city commuting, you're going to an office environment, you're going back and forth from say a school or something like that, then I would go with the Trekker. If you want what I, we both believe is the most versatile, it's definitely the foldable version. Simply because you can fold it up and stick it in a car. You don't have to have a special rack to put on your hitch in the back of the car to try to take your your bike with you. You can literally throw it in the back of a, a car relatively easily. And you'll see right here, it's only two things. You fold the handle down and it folds in half. And then you pick it up and you throw it in and off you go. And you can just do more fun adventuring with this. Tony, you know the other thing when you really compare apples to apples oh. and you must is 20 miles an hour is fast. It's fast. And 40 miles on a charge. On a charge. How much would you spend on 40 miles of gas? <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, right. I would wonder if we did some research how much, how quick you'd pay this off versus really the same quickly. mileage and gas. Really quickly because you're not paying anything with this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you Once know. you buy it, there's no other cost. Yeah. That's, I mean, I, it's, it's crazy. Now, I, the level one, I like folks because you, I can kind of pull people and go, whoop. 
<laughs> I can just cruise, right? Well, that's just level one. Can you hear the wind in his hair? Isn't that fabulous? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And you know what, Donna, it's so funny, like Donna's joining us now, hey Donna. And um, the models get different gigs. This is when all of them want. Like who doesn't want to ride on an electric bike for a couple of hours a day, right? Exactly, like everybody. And here's the thing, you know, I think it's so sad because if you're like me when I was a kid, man, we just rode bikes everywhere. That's how we got around, right? And then as you get older, you stop riding and then you're like, oh, I can never ride a bike again. Guess what? Remember what it was like when you were a kid and you met your friends and you went to the Dairy Delish and you got ice cream in the summertime and you, we rode our bikes to school until we could drive cars, right? Remember how fun that experience used to be. You will relive that again on this bike and the neat thing about it is you don't have to sweat now if you want to pick if you want to sweat you 100 can ride this as a regular bike or if you quite frankly run out of power and you're not quite where you want to be you can actually pedal it and oh. it's one of the best pedaling bikes ever i gotta tell you amazing if you've ever ridden 10 speeds i like 10 speeds right i rode them for a long time they're smooth right because you're going to go road riding long distance and in race right mm -hmm. That level on here is unbelievable. It's really smooth. I yeah. mean, it's surprising because I wouldn't have expected it with the big tires and the thing like that, but it's really smooth. Yeah, it, it, it'll, I think everything about this will, it will, oh, it will exceed your expectations. Uh, you, you know, even if you've tried, if you've ever rented an e-bike and thought it was great, this, there's nothing that compares to this. And, and I've tried a lot of e-bikes and I've done a ton of research because my husband and I have been thinking about buying one <laughs> for a really long time and I've never, ever been on a better bike than this. All right, a couple things I want to explain. How do you get this at home? How do we make it a little easier on your budget? Because we understand. All right, first you, off, we have five flex easier pays. Easier on their budget? Want me to take it over to you? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> five flex pays using a major credit card. You'll get it right away. You have five months to pay it off. That's anybody and any major credit card. If you pull out your HSN card, this is a really good time to use it because you're going to get 18 months of what's called VIP financing. Do you know there's absolutely no interest on that 18 months to pay it off if it's paid in full at the end okay so you have 18 months and that comes out to tweet between like 70 some dollars and 83 dollars so that's the difference between the trekker and the foldable now if you don't have your hsn card tonight it would really be a good time to do it because once you apply for it and are approved we're going to give you 40 dollars towards the first purchase why not make it the bike and use 18 months vip financing you're getting the best of all worlds if you do that so it's a perfect time to get that card. And by the way, that offer is going to end, I think it ends tomorrow through Tuesday, right? Yeah, through Tuesday, that offer is going to come to a close on our card. So take advantage of it. All you're choosing is do you want foldable? Tony and I are both on it. We have the red, blue, and black. Or do you want the Trekker, red, blue, or black? That is non foldable I, and the tire dimensions are a bit I bigger. Should I stop, step off of this for a second yeah, so sure. they can see it? Absolutely. I mean, the blue is beautiful. Um, black is like, you know, everyday type thing. Uh, but it is a beautiful bike, I gotta tell you. And I Well, you know what's funny? Even when you look down at the shifting mechanisms on the back, Tony, can you, because this is me nerding out, can you guys go to the opposite side of the wheel? Look at that. Well, you can see the technology. I it's mean, just, it's beyond me. It is. Right? I mean, I can't even look, explain but again, it, but it's that's awesome. just, This is why I, here's another thing, just to show you detail, right? Can you get close up for a second? Did you notice these handlebars? I did. Uh, the grips? Come yeah. here, look at this, folks. This is how detailed they are, right? Why do you have that? Because it's really soft, and you're never going to get a calloused hand. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like a it's really unbelievable the way this feels here. It's cushiony and everything like that. And the same thing they do all over this thing. They, they, even when you put the a rack on the back. I mean, everything is extra high quality. So even the cord on the rack of the back is gorgeous. Yeah, I can do biceps, <laughs> biceps, biceps. Hey. And also look at this. See this right down here? See the bottom of that? Look how it's designed. Yeah. All right. It's designed so it doesn't roll over, turn over like a lot of the other bikes. Right. It's not they just developed a thin everything. Stick. Yeah. And again, remember your battery's inside and here. And show them where you plug in on the side there, Tony. Yeah. yeah we're, it's on. It's on right, right over there. Right yeah. there. Right you there. You take that plug in, and or you can pop this off and mm -hmm. just plug this in. Yep. So this whole thing comes off. So and you, let, let's say you lock your bike up uh, outside the grocery store or an office or school or something. Mm -hmm. So if you need to recharge during the day because you've gone 40 miles, mm -hmm. you just pop that battery off and then you're going to charge it inside your office or whatever. Do, do you still have the bag, the gift bag or the... Yeah, how many do we have left in the gift bag? Yeah. Or, or the little storage bag? Yeah, I call it a gift because it's a gift. <laughs> 
get this out of the way. Oh wait, there are my notes. Look, it even has a little bungee cord on the top. I've got my notes stored. There's 180 left. And it's a great bag, by the oh, way. Man, wait, it's got zips on both sides, a big zip in the center. It's designed to fit snugly right there on the back of the bike. So that's still available, but there's only 180. Now, while you're down there, and below me is gonna be uh, Range Rover made specifically a lock for this. And it's made of braided steel inside there, so it's super strong. That lock, along with the water bottle holder and the phone holder is called our accessory package. There's three pieces, this, this, and that lock you just saw. That's available, I think it's about $44. Yeah, $44.99. There's a little over 400 left for the entire day. And while you're there, I just wanna show you too, look how gorgeous that screen is. I mean, it's big. You do not need to put your readers on to see what's going on. And you can even see, that's my health meter on my battery. I still got a ways to go before I have to charge it, and by the way, the charging takes about five hours to go from zero to fully charged. Where are you? Are you ready to roll? My yeah. Viking friend. I'm ready to rock and roll. You ready to get out of here? Coming up next, we're going to talk electronics. If you're watching this on repeat, I would not wait on the foldable version because it's the most limited of the two. All right, coming up next, Bye. I got an apple and so much more, so stay with us. Andrew Lessman's going to take you into the next couple of minutes, and I'll be back in just a sec. Stay with us.